is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here i just want to talk about the uh, concept of whether or not jeepers creepers actually needed to have a sequel so as it stands right now we have two sequels to the film we have jeepers creepers 2 which came out in 2003 and then we have the long overdue jeepers creepers 3 that finally released in 2017 a few years ago um so with that being said with the character of the creeper as the film as we saw in the original film at, we initially thought that this was a person or at least i did and i think everyone who was watching it with a blind eye who didn't see any of the trailers didn't see anything in regards to what was going on i think everyone thought that this was a man and or and or just another person um but of course as you as you go into the film and you find out more things that are going on and you see what this quote-unquote person is doing you begin to realize you, you start to question like what is this person how has he not been caught uh how long is he being out there how is he just getting away with this and then of course as the film progresses we find out that this is not a person which explains why he hasn't been caught why he is getting away with it and a lot of other things because we then see that the thing can fly there's a feeding cycle to it um, it's very grotesque in nature. It's not it looks like a human of course, but it's not it's not a human whatsoever So I still to this day that was one of the big twists for me as a kid when we found out that that was not a person and It was a thing that was very demonic in nature. I was just taken back because I couldn't I the whole time the movie does a great job of making you think this is a person and I had I was under the full impression that this was a person I was trying to figure out what the hell was wrong with this guy like what's wrong with him then we finally see his face when he comes out from behind the old lady i'm like this isn't a person whatsoever but then there was the things of of course him jumping on the roof and then all this other stuff that was going on and the stuff that they were alluding to i just thought that this was a they do a great job of just making you believe this is a person and that's one of the real that's one of the great things about the first movie that revelation and the way they start to pull back the layers of this thing that you initially think is human but it's not human but getting into jeepers creepers 2 and jeepers creepers 3 jeepers creepers 3 of course being the worst out of the out of the trilogy jeepers creepers 2 is an okay movie i wouldn't say it's as good as the first film whatsoever however i do have more fun with jeepers creepers 2 and it has a lot more action in it uh jeepers creepers 2 is my favorite however it is not a better made film compared to the original the original has a lot more working for it it has a lot more going that that it just does right as far as like building tension and keeping the character in the dark keeping him very mysterious jeepers creepers 2 we already kind of know a lot more about it and we know it's not human anymore so they kind of just go all out with them and it's more of an action horror film which i did appreciate and i like that element of it uh but it felt kind of contained because a lot of the movie took place on that bus but what i want to say is the fact that we had a two and a three i could i could have gone on to say i can go on to say that we probably didn't need those movies we didn't need a sequel to jeepers creepers uh i appreciate the fact that they exist more so jeepers creepers two than three uh, but Jeepers Creepers had a, it was just a very unique film to come out in the early 2000s. One of the better made horror, monster horror films that came out from that decade. That movie and then The Descent, I would say would be my top two creature films from that decade. The um, ending of the film, it was just very different to see. Something I never saw before because it was very rare to see the villain actually win in the end and that was just something another unique aspect about jeepers creepers in the end the bad guy does win he gets what he wants and he has the last laugh and i like that i i actually like that change of change of um traditional movie in it because traditionally you'll have a movie where it's good versus evil and good always prevails over evil and in this one it's a case of this evil cannot be stopped and the evil gets the last laugh in the end of jeepers creepers and i that kind of moved me a bit because it's something i've never it, it's just not something that i was accustomed to i was accustomed to always seeing the good guys come out on top in the end and then here's jeepers creepers with a movie that takes something evil in it and it has this it has the evil uh character get the final word in the end and i like that it was very it was a very disturbing shocking into the movie um i felt bad for justin long's character of course this was all his fault but i still felt bad for the character and i i just think that the way the character was portrayed in the film 
we found out enough about it we found out enough about it for us to just now kind of have this movie to kind of watch over the years and talk about without having jeepers creepers 2 and without having jeepers creepers 3 because the fact that only two movies existed for so long and the the property had such a huge fan base for several years up until the third movie came out that there shows me that even without even having the second movie the monster that was presented in the first film he has such a unique design to him and he stuck with so many people upon first viewing and jeepers creepers really was the talk of the town in the early 2000s it was a big hit at the box office in theaters everyone was talking about jeepers creepers jeepers creepers this jeepers creepers that oh have you haven't seen jeepers creepers go check out jeepers creepers so the fact that that original film had such a following behind it and it has such a big cult following behind it today tells me that we do not need these sequels these sequels did not need to be done and i could have done without them i'm glad that they do exist but a sequel to the original jeepers creepers movie was not necessary it just wasn't jeepers creepers was a very well made film at it at the time that it came out some of the stuff in it as far as like effects and whatnot they might not hold up as well of course but it, it was a very good film it is a good film and i think we could have done without those sequels those are my thoughts on it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you think that having sequels to Jeepers Creepers was necessary? Of course, yes, I would have liked to know where it is and where it came from. But like I said, like I've made mention of on this channel, they, they didn't even go into detail with that on the Cathedral script. They don't go into detail really about that. They just kind of give it a name and talk about how what early people in the area called it. But that's not a concrete answer as to where it is and where it came from because you're not supposed to know that stuff. And I'm kind of glad the Cathedral script kind of just scrape the surface of going into its mythos but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below do you think that jeepers creepers 2 and 3 necessarily needed to happen of course i'm pretty sure if you're a fan of it you're glad they exist but do you think that a sequel to jeepers creepers was necessary or not let me know down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed to our post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video